Hey, beloved friends and family. How are you really? I'd love it if uh, we would all use this opportunity to check in in the comments. I'm certainly sending you my love. I want to wish a Shana Tova to all those who are celebrating the Jewish High Holy Days, the head of the year, and these days of awe and reflection. I think a lot of religions honor that this is a an important time for thinking about how our life is going and how we want our life to be and what changes do we need to make to bring it into alignment with who we are and what our values are. And I'm thinking about how this period of time is definitely underscoring how life is about being able to hold both and, both incredible heartbreak and stress and loss and beauty and joy and hope and possibility that we create together. It's also the head of the month for us at UUCG. So on October 6th, this Sunday, we're gonna talk about the listening that helps us to grow. The theme of the month is the practice of deep listening. And this Sunday, we're gonna listen to some fabulous, and help create some fabulous animal sounds with the story for all ages. I'm gonna be looking for volunteers as the worship service begins. And then as the youth go off to their religious education and faith formation, we'll dip into a more serious homily that honors the heartbreak of war and the difficulties that we have in listening to one another, especially maybe right now, and what we're called to do about that, about hearing each other's stories. So I hope you'll join us after the service. There's this fantastic and really, really important congregational conversation that I hope we will listen to and participate in both online and in person. I've forgotten the name that our beautiful leaders have given it, but I know it is about the gifts of generosity and of community building through sharing our gifts. So it's, it's really valuable and it's about possibility and hope too. There are about a gazillion other things that I would love to talk about if we just had all the time in the world. <laughs> but I guess as always, I want to just close up with saying I love you. I hope you are doing all right. My heart is with those who have suffered loss in all the different ways that are going on right now and those who are anxious about what's happening right now in their own lives and in the culture around us. And I'm also here to say, I'm so glad we're alive. This is the time that we are made for and let's hang in there and let's see what we can do together. Again, I love you. I'll see you soon.